And this is what he did with her. So he's a coworker. He's my good friend as a guy friend, and there's nothing between us. That sounds like a reasonable explanation, and it's really not Ed's business, but Ed is insecure and jealous. Then I saw you guys walk into your car one night. One so night? Okay, you see what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't even watch this video, to be honest with you. Any guy who from the start start telling you who, who you shouldn't, who shouldn't, hang, you shouldn't hang out with? Now, one of my loyal Patreon supporters asked me, what is the number one red flag in the guy you should have even ignored in the beginning? And I decided to make this video because a lot of the time, we, you, not me, you get digmatized. Uh, we all know what that means. And it causes you to ignore the red flags in somebody. Okay, so we're going to talk about what that red flag is. And I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who... Who requested this video because I, you know, just I just been getting this requested, and if you guys want to be part of the Patreon gang, um, you guys can um check us out on the mind on the mindful attraction Patreon for one dollar a month. You can stop being a, a freeloader. <laughs> um, for five dollars a month, you get videos that you don't watch that you don't watch on YouTube. We have the book club here. We have twenty five dollars a month where you can ask me any question per month and I'll make a video about it. And for fifty dollars a month, um, I will make a I'll make a drawing for you. And as you can see, this is the content that we have inside. It's content that we don't have on YouTube specifically for Patreon. So go check us out and don't be both don't be a freeloader, okay? Or I'm closing the channel. Um, so let's begin this. Um, you could check it out, you could become a subscriber on the description down below. So let's watch this and I'm gonna give you guys my take. At the end of the night, I went for a kiss trying to be all romantic. She dodged it. Oh, hey, welcome back. We left off in the last episode with Ed going in for the kiss and it going terribly. So let's see if he can fix it. He kind of looks like somebody that I know. I just would never tell him. <laughs> or just make it worse. Awesome. By the way, don't forget to hit the like After button. Smash that like button or I'm closing the channel. And comment down below and let me know what what other red flags you think that women ignore in the beginning. So we can start that discussion. Most awkward kiss of all time. Big Ed is going golfing with his brother to talk about his situation with Liz. Our first date was a lunch date. So we just talked like for two hours. Just conversation. She was crying. I was crying. For what? His brother already <laughs> seemed... For what? Look at his face. I'm suspicious of this relationship. <laughs> he was crying. I was crying. For what? <laughs> suspicious of this relationship. Are you bankrolling her? No. His own family is asking him this. Let's see how he explains the kiss. I go in for the kiss and she drops her head and I kiss her right on the nose. Why'd she drop her head? I don't know. She dropped her head because she didn't want to kiss you. This sounds like a train wreck, man. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. You should now look, we're gonna get to the number one red flag. Watch. Be dating someone who adores you. For you. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And fame doesn't help. Fame will only bring women who are only attracted to him because of the fame. You see, people, and I, I, I was actually reading this. Um, I'm, I'm actually taking notes from my upcoming course. Um, my upcoming course, uh, what's it called? Mel Nature, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm putting a lot of research. And something that I wrote here is that serotonin is stimulated by the status aspect of love. The pride of being associated with a person of a certain stature. Animals have animals higher status have more reproductive success. Natural selection built a brain to find rewarding associations, higher status. It, natural, selected, natural selection um, selected brains that got rewarded by associating with men and people of higher status because it, it because it ensures and it increases the chances of, of your of your offspring surviving, right? So it's wired in us to be attracted to somebody who is of higher status, even if they look like Ed, to be honest with you. Um, so which is but the problem is is that in terms of romantic love, it doesn't work that way. In terms of romantic love, it can sometimes be a hindrance because you don't know what the, what the purpose of somebody being with you is. I agree with that, and none of this has oh, been easy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she agrees with that. Look at that. So why is he still trying to make this work with her? So, Mike, I'm meeting up with her after this. Um, I'm going to her house. She invited me over. So this is where I feel like Liz is not helping the situation. She needs to stop hanging out with him and giving him false hope. Just stop. So what are you going to tell her? 
So tonight, he's going to ask her how she really feels. Watch, watch what happens next. Even though I think he's already asked that on every date. And, and look, remember that girl? Remember, this is the same girl from the other video yesterday. And notice how he's, re notice how he's acting now. He's acting on shore. He, he's walking on his, he's walking on eggshells and shit. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's trying to, he's chasing essentially. He's not acting cocky. He's acting insecure. But the, the, but she she begins to lose when she opens up and tells him how he feels, right? Why? Because it brings out his 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 dark side in a way. Because what he's looking for is whether or not he can control her. That's what he's trying to look for, and it, it'll relate to the next point. Watch this. Do you like me as a friend, or do you see potential? You see, you see that uncertainty, that thought, just that thought makes some behave around you. Just that thought, whether or not how much you really like him, makes a guy act more, more in line, per se. Makes him act more consistent. But whenever you give him that certainty, consistently, always making him 100% know he likes you, he's going to take you for granted. It's just human nature. People got to feel like you could lose interest at any moment for them to be all to always be on their toes for them to always be trying to improve if they don't sense any threat of you losing interest there's no cortisol that's going to be releasing his brain cortisol is the neurochemical that makes you feel like something's wrong and you got to fix it but when you're always giving him dopamine always giving him good feelings without giving him that cortisol which causes him to work harder then of course he's gonna take you for granted. Make him feel that pain. Make him feel a little cortisol in his brain because cortisol says something's wrong. Cortisol says there's something missing here. And you give him that impression by you not get, letting him know exactly how you feel. But it's not going- I've been studying people. I've been studying that that new course, Mel Nature is gonna be the bomb. I think it might be my best, my best course to date. It's gonna be that simple because he left out some details. I didn't talk to my brother about this incident that happened with Liz. Watch, listen to this. So apparently, a day after their weird kiss, Ed went to the restaurant she works at. I'm guessing uninvited. Un Without her knowing, then this what happened. And she was having a drink with um, a guy. Why is he watching her at her work? I was shocked because I'd been there all night and she had never came over to say hi. He was stalking her, creeping in the wood around the fucking bushes, looking at her, looking through the bushes. So he just shows about her work, expecting her to come talk to him. It threw me off. How about you? You don't harass her at her job. Later that day, Ed meets up with Liz to confront her about that guy. First of all, if you're ever dating somebody, and it's only been the first date, or even a second or even third date, actually third, not third date, you could go with it. But if it's, if it's one or two dates, and you're already confronting them about meeting somebody, you're fucking toxic. It's plain and simple. You're toxic. And this is what he did with her. So he's a coworker. He's my good friend as a guy friend. And there's nothing between us. That sounds like a reasonable explanation. And it's really not Ed's business. But Ed is insecure and jealous. Then I saw you guys walk into your car one night. One night? Okay, you see what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't even watch this video, to be honest with you. Any guy who from the start start telling you who who you shouldn't who shouldn't hang, you shouldn't hang out with, he's a fucking problem. That's the number one red flag. When you're with somebody who from the start already starts dictating to you who you should or shouldn't hang out with, and what she should have done, she should have saw that as a red flag. What are you doing, lady? My God. My God. Is up with won't Sunday, it's the Lord's Day. But anytime a guy confronts you about any about any other dude, and without you guys being in a relationship, without you guys even having sex, that's a red flag. You should run. You should run. You should run for the hills. You should run for the hills. But no. Oh, but no. This woman, this woman, something, something drastic happened in her life. That stunted her. That 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 stunted her natural instincts. Because what she's doing, she's pretty much getting. She's pretty. She's pretty much. She's an embarrassment to her family. <laughs> okay, that's a little too much. I think it is. I think if you if you saw the last video about how, how her family was looking at her, you would agree too. 
Okay, I'm not trying to be mean to this lady, but it's like you're you're looking pretty bad, my love. To the parking garage. But I think he likes you. I mean, who wouldn't? So she's supposed to not hang out with her coworkers anymore? Uh, no. I'm not gonna stop hanging out, like having my own life and being independent and everything like that. So. They aren't officially dating, so why is this even a conversation? That should be a breakup right there. You should always be looking for reasons to break up with somebody, not for reasons to stay with them. It'll give you a better picture. It'll give you a better look of reality because naturally we have this thing called confirmation bias. When we like somebody so much that we begin to look for evidence that, that, that conforms to how we feel. It's confirmation bias. We gravitate towards things that are familiar. We gravitate towards thoughts that are familiar to our own thoughts towards people who are familiar to our own people towards re towards towards different aspects of reality that conform to what we want to feel and i don't know what the hell the kind of dick this guy has that makes his woman into her into him this much but you got to override that you see you, you you it's okay for you to fall in love with, with the wrong guy that's your reptilian brain. But the cerebral cortex, the part of the brain that's outside of the, the amygdala, like the, the cortex, the, the, the big part, the big part, the, the, the white matter, the part in our brain that allows us to create connections, that allows us to, to connect things from the now to the past, that part of us could override the 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 the, the, the signals that you that your reptilian brain says. In other words, if you feel the need to punch the shit out of your boss. Your cerebral, which is your reptilian brain, your cerebral cortex would say, wait a minute, let's, let's think about this, okay? Let's calm down. You might lose your job, and all of a sudden, you could override it. It takes a certain level of rationale, rationality, you know? It takes a certain level of rationality to override it, but you could. How do you do that? You got to have, write down the list, write down a nice little long list of things that you will and will not accept in men. And like I always say, and just like having a job, just like having a job, the policy allows you to treat every worker equally, no matter how much you like them. If you're late three times, you're fired. And that will allow you to see reality for what it is because if you see somebody that cancels two dates on you, as an example, and you wrote down that one of your rules is that if they cancel two dates, they're done. As much as you like them, you look at the rule book and says, oh, fuck, Tyrone. Oh, man, Tyrone, I like you so much, Tyrone. But we got to break up. It says it here. Before we, before we continue, let's, let's give you guys a quick promo, okay? Because Father Alex has to, has to pay some bills. Just to let you guys know, we have a course called Natural Chemistry. You have two courses. The first course is for single women, no, for women in relationship. This course will teach you how to get a guy to create more connection with him, how to set boundaries. You'll understand about female nature. You'll understand how to control your emotions around a guy that you like. It's pretty much the course for women in relationships, and you get a whole bunch of other bonuses. Um, it's one of my it's it's one of my best courses to be honest with you. So if you're a single woman, check that course out. And the next course is the psychological game of attraction which is for single people um i pretty much guide you through the three phases of dating the pre-honeymoon period which is when you get into know each other the honeymoon period when things are at its peak and the post-honeymoon period when you had the natural decline and so i give you specific strategies strategies for each phase of the relationship this course is for single people you can check it out by by going to the description down below okay natural chemistry relationship Psychological game of attraction for single people. Let's continue. Conversation. Why are you so quiet? Why are you being weird? I can tell that she is frustrated. I mean, Ed keeps showing up at her work and watching her every move. He does admit that he overreacted in this scene and apologizes. Then asks once again how she really feels about him. And I guess I should ask you. Do you Damn, girl, look at you, man. You, you a hot, sexy ass bitch, man. You with this dude? Come on, Jesus Christ! Look at this girl, bro. Look, look at them heavies. Look at them heavies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Father Alex likes the heavies, people. That's right. <laughs> Stop being a pervert and. Fuck it in the video, goddammit. Sorry, Melissa. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. But that should have been it for her. She should have broken up with him right there. It was. It's a sign to come. It's a sign of what's about to happen. 
you think that I'm boyfriend potential? Yeah. She looks uncomfortable. Let's, you know what, people? Let's close our eyes. Let's pray for bro, for Sister Liz. Heaven music. Let's pray for Sister Liz right now. Because Sister Liz is out of control. Lord. I ask thee to bless my followers right now, Lord. Look at Melissa. Not Melissa. Look at Liz right now. She's acting silly right now, Lord. She's being digmatized by Ed, Lord. Lord, I ask thee to open up her mind, Lord. Send Mark Rosenfeld. Send Matthew Hussey. Send Mark Derrick Jackson, your beautiful black angel. And send Shira Seven. Send Shira Seven this time. Send Shira Seven so that she can make her realize that she's dating a dusty Lord. In your name, Lord. In your name, Lord. In your name. Amen. You can feel it, people. This lady is out of control. This lady is out of control right now. I'm comfortable saying that. My last relationship was so bad, and I feel like if there's going to be a problem with me having guy friends, I'd rather not be in a relationship. No, you don't. You are lying to yourself because actions speak louder than words. What do the comments say? Let's read the comments. Let's read the comments section right now. Your recaps are low-key better than the actual show itself. You could check out the recaps at this channel, K-I-B-L-Z. She's a great, she pretty much helps me out with this. I don't know her. She doesn't know me, but um, I like her channel. Liz is the perfect example of women being nice when not interested because we get killed for saying no. That's true. Dude needs to stop thinking that taking one girl out on a date doesn't automatically make her make her your girlfriend. And women need to stop accepting that from the first date and not see that as a red flag. What is wrong with you, lady? Definitely a stalker. All the signs are there. His statement says it all. He detailed three times he saw her with the same co-worker and even admitted he saw them walk into the car. He followed her. Ted, Ed, the, Ed, the private investigator. That was very alarming to me because it indicates that he shows up at her job unannounced and stays there for a long period of time just to monitor her and who she interacts with. He is that insecure that he has to be present to see if she is interacting with another guy. Mind you, they are not in a relationship. She looks very uncomfortable talking to him. Well, guess what? She's not, apparently. Your boy, you, your boyfriend potential doesn't mean she likes you, dude. No, she it, apparently it does because they, they ended up being together. If Liz is any smart, she'll be out of the she'll be out of the picture. Unbelievable, man. Chip. She then goes on to say that she has never seen this jealous side of Ed before. I can guarantee that you will again, Liz. I feel like we're good now, and as we hang out more and talk about things. I don't know what to do. This I don't know what to do with this lady, man. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm starting to realize there's more feelings on my end than what I thought would ever be. And that, everyone, is the closest TLC could get her to say that she has romantic feelings for Ed. This. Unbelievable. This is a reminder to subscribe to this channel. This channel. And like this video. And her channel. If you too. don't. Her channel. Big Ed will appear in your bed tonight. Ooh. Please don't friend invited me to a wedding up in Lake Arrowhead. Ed has asked Liz to be his date for a wedding. She says she wants to go and they seem to be on good terms again. But the day they're supposed to leave for the wedding, she's not answering the phone. It might be over. <laughs> Apparently, Liz got into an altercation with her ex. Jay got upset and came over to Ed's house to confide in him. I think I asked one too many questions and it pissed her off. So then she took off. This was a girl's night out, you know, and then he shows up. What a coincidence. But he ruins it because Ed got jealous again and she got mad. My, my fear was that she would, you know, go back to him. So she gave him a second chance after that horrible kiss and he ruined it by getting jealous. I'm gonna go pack. I don't even know if she's coming. Ed thinks he blew it and might not ever hear from her again. Leave a comment below. She heard from him again. This lady um, needs some, she needs Jesus. She needs Mohammed. She needs the Dalai Lama. I don't know who could help her out. Maybe even a pope. I don't fucking know. Um, 
But if you ever encounter this kind of guy, and let me tell you something, they make themselves pretty goddamn obvious. They're not hard to find. They're not hard to spot. They're, they make themselves pretty obvious. It's your choice if you stay with them. It's like a mic. Look at that. It's your choice if you stay with them. Don't stay with a guy like this and tell people you watch my channel. Don't tell people you watch my channel if you do this. Okay? Capish? Capish. We're having seminars in New York City, LA, California, LA, Chicago, um, uh, and um, Florida, um, Texas also. We're going to have it in the fall. I should make my schedule by tomorrow. I'm going to make it and send it out to you and send it out to my assistant so that she could put it. Be on the lookout for that. I'm, I'm maybe coming to your city. Father Alex might be coming to your city. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Stay toxic, people. Nah. Oh, we're home on people. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. This course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you. Create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry. No more short-term partners. No more being fooled. Why? Because I will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week, but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord, have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature with over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar, and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you can just check it out for free, and then you can get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I can promise you. Just like my other course, um, the, psychological, the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're going to love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right? I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.